What's up, nerds? Welcome along to another feature match presented by Stacking Sixties. My name's Riley, joined by Yamin and Toffel. Hello. Uh, yes, it's also still me. I also need to say something now. Great, fantastic! I'm so glad that our signature introductions uh, are just so endlessly. Uh, Hello. Smooth. Okay, great. <laughs> so, Toffel to the north of the of uh, sorry, sorry, Toffel uh, to the south of the screen here. You mean to the north, and we have Toffel. You're playing Tishana. Yes. And you mean playing Muldrotha. And I'm already off to a great start here. Three mana, five, five, lets me play an extra land. You know, the usual. Now, these decks have been tuned for multiplayer brawl. So it's going to be interesting to see how they go against each other in, in a single player setting because they're highly unoptimized for 1v1 play. There's no <laughs> fatal pushes, no early interactions. So we're going to see some real battle cruiser magic here today. Yep, it, it was a lot of fun recording this because, like, you got to build a deck out of all the fun stuff and then play it 1v1, which, which is just weird. So both of you guys ramping pretty early here with some, uh, well, Toffle a lot a lot harder than Yamin, it seems here. Yeah, I also want to point out the great synergy between the guy that puts minus one, minus one counters on itself to produce mana and then the n New Horizons taking away one of those minus one, minus one counters. You got a block. That's just, that's just prime deck building. Yeah, really, really good stuff. He's uh, the eldest reborn. Oh, well, <laughs> so Topol realizing the mistake he's made in putting this bad card in his deck, and so s sacrifices it immediately to the eldest reborn. Why? Play play it from protected you, the other creature. Like that's sort of. <laughs> it's like you make a mana once, and then you can go. <laughs> so he's, okay, yeah, he's done his job, and off you go. Um. So this sword tooth here, I think, is this sword. Is, this sword tooth has looked about as good as I've ever seen it in, in this particular game because you never have... I mean, you've dumped th three lands in play while you've got it, so two extra lands, which you never usually have. Yeah, usually you run out of steam very quickly, but yeah, with... with like I, I got lucky this time around in drawing like the right amount of lands and with, with the commander, you usually have lots of resources oh, anyway. Yeah, imagine fetch lands or something. Oh my goodness. Mm. Playing Evolving Wilds oh, every time. yeah. Yeah, well, there is actually one fetch land in standard. Two if you count Field of Ruin. Like, you can play Evolving Wilds, but I was never lucky enough to draw Evolving Wilds. So unlucky, I mean. Always unlucky. Yep. Toffle so tanking hard here on a turn that's not super easy, right? You have access to how much mana? Seven? Yeah, Hope Tender is a kind of complicated guide with something that uh, accelerates land mana. You can always do one for exerting, but then you can do two. But sometimes exerting is not good enough, so it's... Yeah, but with the gifts on the land, you can actually, like, produce one extra mana by untapping that land, right? Yeah, so goal is to make a lot of mana quickly and get to the combo. Get to the tumbo! That's what they say. The well, tumbo? They combo, yep, but they that, say that, cla that classic line, get to the tumbo. <laughs> <laughs> As heard in every movie either, ever. So I mean to discard a card to the Eldest Reborn. I, I'm pretty high on this card, the Eldest Reborn. I know, Toffle, you were actually playing it at a GP uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I don't know. I feel like this card is going to do stuff post-rotation. It's very, very powerful. Yeah, buy your copies. It's going to explode, I tell you. Yeah, it's going it's to go from it's gonna go from a 10-cent uncommon to a 20-cent uncommon. <laughs> That's like 100%. Yeah, I know. If you go, if you buy 10,000 of them, you'd be rich. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you then get rid of ten thousand copies of the Eldest Reborn, yeah, well, you sure will be. You see all the uh, mana. Look at this. Ah, yeah, this is ridiculous. Wow. Well, next turn, uh, Toffel can cast Tishana, drawing four four cards. If he doesn't play the card that he draws that turn, because otherwise Tishana will be a zero zero. Yeah, you see. And oh, Rashmi. Maybe I should play Rashmi. It's a good card. Seems pretty good. Like if hmm. if you go to this acceleration point, so this is the eldest reborn. Uh, the trigger here, yeah, yeah uh, reanimating the channel initiate the only we, creature Toffel has in the graveyard. Wow, which is just wow, huge. Yeah. Wow, what a what a play from you. You mean incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Little zero one, and here is so, Rashmi. You're going to empty out your hand as well. So no Muldrotha just yet. Of course, there's not a huge amount for you to do with her. Yeah, this was basically just a match of one v one v one singleton. 59 yeah. decks so far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> exactly. Nobody yeah. has touched their commander. Is that going to change here, Toffle? You going to start dumping Tishana out? Yeah. I, I'm just trying to survive until I hit my Paradox engine. And then, then it's over. And then, 
all over Red Rover. So, well, this is a good way to try to draw some extra cards here with the uh, Tishana. What, what are you thinking about while you while you you know the looking I- at this time? Yeah, the idea behind it is uh, I do want to cast the climb before. Uh, or at least play a spell, because I want Tishana to die to actually play her next turn again. Otherwise, she would be on a battlefield, meaning that uh, I cannot recast her from the command zone. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to kill her, right? Because then uh, Toffel just gets to ye- reuse her next turn. Yeah, right. So, so you're, looking, you're looking at her as a, as a draw engine, not so much as a big creature. Well, she's, she's a nice woman, right? Toffel just wants to draw cards. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's that deep, man. You just want to, you just want to play, yeah, play Tishana, draw some cards. Uh, Next of Fate. Nice. Yeah, we discussed this on the episode, and Next of Fate is a very strong card. Very strong card in DB one, and uh, although Toffel unable to cast it just yet. Well, not only do you get an extra turn, also with Shishana drawing your whole deck pretty quickly, you get to the point where you just draw it all over again. It's very strange how you deliberately put yourself in a situation where your commander would die as soon as it would, uh, as soon as it resolved. It's not not something you see too often, but here you can see how it's a very very powerful draw engine indeed. Die is four it? cards. The yeah, and it tends to be more right. Like, mm, mm, mm. Like they, it's very unlikely that your creatures die. So when you draw, you play her, you draw more creatures and stuff. Yeah, but me and Jamin yes. playing Eldest Reborn stuff. Making all my creatures go away. So I have two artifacts now, and I only need one third one for um, the Inventor's Fair. And as soon as I get that, I can just look for an engine and look for the Paradox engine. Yeah. And you've got quite a you've got quite a number of ways to find the engine as well. You got uh, War of Invention. Um, uh, that's it. <laughs> well, you can you, you can always draw it. Oh yeah, that's yeah, a great Toffle way. Is to, the luckiest man alive. So it is a great way to to find the cards that you need in your deck. Just just draw them. Yeah, you can. Uh, but with this Manolith, that means that you you are going to pop you pop the Inventor's Fair fair pretty soon. But you're under a lot of pressure on seven life. Yeah, I mean, I probably have to hope for one more turn, but it might be that with the Nexus of Fate, it's doable to just win now. Depending I mean, on what you, do, you draw. If you need one more turn, Nexus of Fate is a good card to get you that one more turn. <laughs> well, it also costs like one more turn. But unfortunately, I cannot regrow my Nexus of Fate because it doesn't go into the graveyard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Ugh, terrible card. Yeah. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> yeah. Sell Nexus of Fate by like 20 Eldest Reborn for that price. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we can all take away from uh, this month's feature match. We all get an yeah. Eldest Reborn? Top level financial advice. <laughs> what's the what's the biggest score you guys made on a, on on a, like on a bit of MTG finance? Well, that's a deep question. Oh, I can't remember. All right, well, I'll tell you mine because the, the question I didn't really care what yours was. So I, just <laughs> to tell, I, just, I just want to tell my story. Uh, very good. I As love the this. cycles away. Are you are you one of those people that monitor. when you had like the best night ever, you go to your friends like. <laughs> And you try yeah. to make them ask, like... Ask exactly, yeah, yeah. what happened. Yeah. <laughs> or, or I just ask them and then don't listen for a couple of minutes while they finish. Yeah. And tell them okay, go. Anyway, so one time, um, I I needed some abrupt decays, right? And I went online and I went to a one of the bots that sell cards. And I was like, all right, sweet, I'll just buy a, a play set of them. And they were 32 tickets. And I was like, wow, what has happened to Abrupt Decay to make it 32 tickets overnight, right? Yes. So I go to I go to like the, you know, the websites where you check the prices and that sort of stuff. And no, as normal, it was just three or 3.2 tickets. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I went to a different chain of bots, right? Mm. And saw that there were 3.2 tickets. And so I bought as many copies as I could, right? I think I got, I got like, I don't know, 12 or 16. For and th- then 32 tickets. No, for th- yeah, well, no, for three point two tickets each. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then went back to the other one, who obviously had a a sell price of like twenty eight or twenty nine or whatever, yeah. and just sold. I, I think wow. I only I only managed to sell like seven of them or eight of them before they realized and changed the price. But oh my goodness, that is oh my goodness, that's really true. That happened. It, that's true. This is true. This happened to me years ago. 
Wow. <laughs> and they, they, they actually made a mistake. You just made they, 30 they bucks. They actually made a mistake and they put the decimal place one one point two far to the right and oh I, my I, God. Just, oh, that... I just cashed out. It was sick. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. That must suck for that. That's... that No. Imagine how every buy sucks for us. That's justice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a little... Yeah, just, just fighting the man. Just a little bit here. Mm. Anyway... Uh, Toffle, you found your wildest dreams, which is not a particularly <laughs> useful card for you right now, but dreams. Tishana's going yes, to look oh, at this. There it is. And you laugh so about lucky. drawing it naturally. That's one option, right? Well, I mean, you that's those are cards five through nine that you've drawn with, uh, what's her name? Tishana, plus the extra cards you've drawn with, uh, the, um, the, what's the thing? Gateway to Araska? No, what's it called? Arch? No. No, it's not the arch. What is it? The oh my goodness. Gateway? I need to... Oraska's gateway? Sure. No, Something you, like that. Oh my, this is Azor's well, it's gateway. Just, Azor's gateway. That's what I was oh, going to say. Yeah, so I was just smart. giving you guys a chance to figure out the name of it. Mm. It's, it's, I have one job. I have one job in my life, and that is to know the names of, of magic cards. I'm not very good at it. Anyway, you've drawn so like... How, how did you do on that? Yeah. 14 extra cards here, Toffel. So it's unsurprising that you finally found your, your engine piece. Is it going to be enough? <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, there was a question. Um, yeah, seriously. No, no, it's definitely enough. Oh, the, it is. If you if you uh, tap the creatures that do mana, which is right now the hope tender five. that does no, four, um, five, yeah, five. One. Hope hope tender adds two mana because you can exert it, and then blossoming dried adds two mana, and then rich card does one. Right. Y- yes. Thank you. He's just trying to help you. I just to cr- crunch those numbers for you. We all know that you have trouble with that. I was confused. Yes. Um, very nice of you, Jamin. But I do uh, reveal cast down oh, you, off the top of my deck there. You see? Is that going to change things here? It, it changes a little bit. Like now it only produces three mana. But mm-hmm. since you untap everything, there also the mana that makes one mana and you can loot. There's almost no way that you know going infinite because the. Amount of cards you draw and see, and every time you gain four mana, it's just yeah. Tuffle Tuffle does have access to like a ridiculous amount of mana, and with the fabrication module, that's actually a loop because whenever you cast the creature, you untap the module also. So that means if you get four mana, you need to get something that uh, costs zero, which I don't have. But if you make more mana, you can have something that costs one or two, and. With Wildest Dreams also untapping like everything and getting back so many cheap spells, it's fairly likely that you can just uh, look for something. Yeah, find, find Nexus of Fate. Oh, oh, how convenient. Man. And look at this as well. You can also untap your Azor's Gateway as well as the Exerted Hope Tender. So yeah, this is this is a very, very sweet combo. And Yeah, and... Yeah, one of the good parts of the combo is, well, I mean, kind of good, because it still needs something. You only need the creatures to be in play. And then once you cast engine, it's actually the loop. Like you don't need any specific setups than just creatures that make mana, which yeah. you have anyway. Because the, all of the creatures, basically, all of the creatures in the deck do that. Do that. And, except Manglehorn. Yeah, except Mangle. And then because you have all the, the mana, but you have basically infinite off, Tishana actually uh, draws you the deck. So the commander is also your win option. Because then you can go to Nexus of Fate or Walking Ballista. And if you draw cards but you cannot uh, play them, then she you just, uh, like you, they're not enough. You can play them and then she dies if there are not as many lands. Yeah, so but what happens when you end up with like four lands in hand? Well, I guess you hope... We don't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that, that never happens. I, we, never talk, we, only, we don't talk about realistic situations here on Stacking 60s. Also, like, uh, Walking Ballista is a pretty cool card with the module because it costs, like, one or two, like, as much as you want, and then you mm. just can play it all over again. I'm glad that Walking Ballista has finally found somewhere where it's playable because, yeah. of, the de- because of decoction module. Well, narrow cards... You know, it, was narrow always, it, it was always so bad, and now finally yeah, now it's now found... Finally it's, it has a home. And now finally it has a home. But I've sold so my Walking Ballistas here. for €1.50 in the beginning. It was... <laughs> So you, that, that was a particularly, that was a bit of a finance blunder. I, I actually, I really just looked at the card and thought like, wow, this is bad. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oops. Magic players suck at evaluating magic cards. Well, no. Like, 
sometimes depends what what your like experience is, but the the point is that you cannot be right all the time, and uh, it's hard to just imagine like walking with is a very complicated card, right? It has like, so much going on. Right now, it's also not only being played for a creature, just for casting it for zero, which is the point. Mm. <clears throat> so uh, there's and who would have known that pl- casting for one is kind of a good thing, even a modern. So yeah, that's really weird. Like it's a mock fanatic that doesn't see play for two mana. So right now I'm just trying to get a loop going, which I don't really have right now. And this must have been really fun for you, Jamin. Uh, yeah, I, I was actually in the kitchen making. Uh, I was <laughs> well, I was going to say this is actually a really good modern testing for you uh, for the KCI matchup. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like watching my opponent go off, hoping yeah. that they run out of uh, time. Exactly. Honestly, that's a. Some some very good training. On, Go on, Tuffle, sorry. On the Pro Tour, uh, like second to last round, I played against somebody and I was in the combo making like a trillion mana and he just mm-hmm. looked at his uh, neighbor's hand and talked to him and didn't even... Yeah. I, I literally said like, uh, I'm trying to do something, I need your attention and he just didn't listen. He just like, oh, no, no, you, you go ahead. Like, Sweet. Like this. He just, so he did, he did an actual IRL F6. Like he was actually AFK in the match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> AFB, away from Actual Battlefield. F6. All right, yeah, so now with the extra turn, Toffel actually has infinite stuff. Because now on, he basically. can produce um, more than six mana with uh, the Paradox Engine triggers from the creatures that he's got. Yeah, and now we're just oh, showing the loop once, and then we're good. Yeah. Returning to the, the Hoopoo. Don't you actually just Hoopoo. generate six mana? Hoopoo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mana yeah, don't myth. Yeah. Does that count? One, two, two. three, four, five, six. Yeah. With yeah, the, the hope, mana, t- the, hope tender, the hope tender makes three. No. Yeah. It. Yeah, because it can untap two lands, one of which has a gift of power. Yeah, but you have to, yeah, you have you have to, to pay, pay one, one mana to untap, yeah. uh, to untap two lands. So actually, uh, but uh, what right. Toffel can do is he can flip the art of a rascal because he has infinite untap triggers, right? Yeah, but the, right. the, the, the land doesn't untap. Yeah, 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 yeah but... Um, Oh, I don't mean Arch of Araska. I mean the gateway. Yeah, but well, it's a well land. Gateway, but the, the, the land still doesn't untap. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, but, you just yeah. concede anyway because you're a huge coward. <laughs> <laughs> so we see the rich sideboard and, options here. Uh, yeah, yes. So what, what I, the choices that you chose to make, I noticed that you, you kept your main deck configuration more or less the same. Is that... Uh, yeah, that's basically the standard strategy in Brawl, mm-hmm. given mm-hmm. that you don't have a sideboard. And that it's standard Brawl. As opposed to the brawl strategy in standard, where you uh, take out all the lands and just put in creatures and hope <laughs> to be lucky. Bit of a stinker from you here, Toffle. It's fine-ish, I guess. <laughs> fine-ish. Like fine-ish. You you have the gateway, and you if you draw one land, you have the horizons. Um. Oh, sorry. Hang on. We for- we completely forgot something, Toffle. What? We forgot to rub in the fact that you just won against Yamin. We didn't make fun of him for it. <laughs> it was game one. We're playing Yameen, best of three here. You are so bad. Never. You are so bad at magic. You will never make it onto the pro. <laughs> oh, wait. He won oh, the mocks. He yeah. won the mocks. Yamin yeah. won the mocks. Look, look at also turn, this very fair start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. turn three, Llanowar Dra- Elves. Wow, wow, Drawing wow. the Llanowar Elves to play off the Swordtooth was um, fortunate. Now, I'm, I'm interested to see, Toffle, you playing the Immortal Sun, a card which in the past <laughs> you've demonstrated to us does nothing at all? <laughs> well, here, Immortal Sun is just a way to go into combo because it makes your spells one cheaper. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't really care about the plus and the extra card and the other thing that's on it. Like, I don't know. There's no other thing that's on it. Nah, something with... <laughs> ah, something with... Yeah. With like enchantments or like something, it gives every creature planeswalk. I think no, yeah, I yeah, like actual it. planeswalk. Cool. Yeah, wow. But it's really useless against my deck, right? Because did it? You mean when us- we when we tweeted out that because you, you a little little we can sort of give the give the viewers a peek behind the curtain here. Yamin is the one who writes all the tweets. And um, Yamin, when you wrote that very excellent tweet about the what was it, the graceful antelope or something. Uh, yeah, having... what, it was one of the creatures with planeswalk. With planeswalk, that was a that was a, a top quality uh, Twitter joke. There, it did not gain the traction it deserved. I was very sorry to see that. Well, not not every masterpiece can be recognized. As no, such. that's true. Maybe you're going to be a Van Gogh like figure, and you know, years after your death, people will <laughs> go through the tweets you wrote and be like, mm, "Yes, 
do you, this, do you think this tweet that, is worth $20 million. Well, it fits to the ear. Do you think there will be Twitter accounts who, whose owners will die and then people mm. will realize how great oh. their tweets were? And they'll want to sell their twi- the Twitter accounts for millions oh. of dollars. Oh. <laughs> no, not the accounts, the tweets. The tweets, sorry, the tweets yeah. themselves, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, like, honestly, this is kind of the right uh, comparison, right, to back then? A little bit like they probably made money off their paintings when they lived, right? But like this, yeah. It, uh, well, it depends. I mean, Van Gogh lived in poverty. Yeah, that's true. And like some of the Twitter users can already make money off of their. Tweets. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's because you couldn't put little banner ads on your paintings. You know, when, <laughs> when, when Van Gogh, Van Gogh did like this. this. <laughs> well, like, like a little, <laughs> little, uh, what like, you. Know, <laughs> you, commercial you're, you're placement the thousand, you, you're the thousandth person person to look at this painting you won i could you want an ipad no it doesn't really work oh that's uh, great beautiful. you've won a small notebook in which you can yeah. write things no i mean you have like uh also little product placements in the in the pictures oh in the yeah. picture yeah mm. yeah i use this brush to paint this picture it's really good and you should get one yourself yeah or like Mona Beautiful. Lisa with some uh, beauty cream, like uh, yeah, slightly wearing, on the table. She's wearing Ray Bans. Yeah. She's wearing Ray Bans as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so look at these, these idiot artists not taking the uh, opportunity to you know commercialize their work. Yeah, no anyway, wonder what's going on in this match? Um, Tuffle has just been attacked for eleven. Is down to ten, and I have Fauna's hunger in hand. Oh, so Tuffle needs to to make something happen pretty soon. You're a hungry boy. You mean? Yeah, I Who's am. A hungry right. boy. No, I guess Vona is the hungry. So I actually so. am very excited because I'm winning right here. Okay. Because how I, are you winning right here? So I'm uh, the, I'm borrowing for the engine. Yeah, and then sick. Uh, I have five mana to always untap everything and the sun and all the stuff. So I'm I'm very excited. Like, Man, your deck's super cool. Yep. And this is his earliest turn. I wasn't to- I wasn't talking to you. Or you something. Mean. Oh. Yeah, this this is fairly early, and yeah, Tuffle is about to win. But thanks for it. Thanks, thanks for I lucky, Jamin. I think killing lucky one, Jamin. killing one wouldn't have been enough. But killing two is, of course, killing uh, one would have been enough. No. So you've already got. You can already see that Jamin has the city's blessing thanks to the sword tooth. But I mean, the, obviously, the hunger would give it to you anyway because you still have ten permanents or more. Yeah. So now I, I make Tuffle's. Oh, Tuffle even activates the gateway, so I get to make. I get him to make more choices before realizing that most of his creatures are well, dead. With oh. not using it would be angle shooting. Not using it? Yeah, like it's like... Why would it be angle shooting? I cast this, then you cast something, but before I will do this. <laughs> I have to do it if I want to untap it. Yeah. That's very true. It wouldn't be angle shooting. It would be like setting me on a spell. If I wait it for you happen. deliberately. Uh, well, yeah, in paper. On Magic Online, that's not... No, there's possible. no angle shooting, I guess. Yeah, you have to work very, very hard to pull off a successful angle shoot on Magic Online. <laughs> yeah, so at this yeah. point, this is really sad because now I only make two mana per card, which is also not even drawing a card. Oh, yeah. Tuffle, you poor thing. Sad times. Look at also, yes, like, my... the, the key to the city is, like, the combo piece itself because you just discard it and for two, mm. you draw one. Oh, of course, because you can the uh, yeah. the cost to, the cost to untap it is. It's just, not there that is your creature dis- is unlocking. discarding a card. <laughs> yeah. So it looks Spring looks like mind. you're gonna looks like you're taking a pasting here, my friend. And at this point, I'm from winning easily to uh, being sad. All just because Mona wanted to go get a cheeseburger. I know, right? Rude. But no, she couldn't make her way to McDonald's. No. So instead, she just ate some of your creatures. Can there yep. be a vegetarian vampire? Uh, well, I'm, well, it depends. In the in the Discworld universe, all of the there are a bunch of black riveners who have sworn off human blood, but they they tend to eat like very rare steaks. I guess that's the equivalent of vampire vegetarianism. I mean, someone eating is, very rare steaks. The question yeah. is like, for example, if you uh, take the blood, right? It hurts, mm. so you cannot do that. Mm. But what if you have like you know those doctors where you have like very tiny yeah. teeth, so it doesn't hurt? Would that count? Or what about just using, like, the Red Cross and, and having people donate blood? Yeah, no, I mean, but I guess it still hurts. Like, mm. I'm not quite sure what the line there is. Well, donating blood is fine. It's just a little, little needle in your arm. 
Yeah, but like, isn't vegetarian about the suffering of the? Oh, sure. Well, I mean, okay, but if it's willingly given by an intel, like by by you know sentient sapient organism, I think it's fine. But what? How do we know that the cow didn't want to give the milk? Or uh, I guess that's not the same point. Yeah, I think you're well, right. It's, it's it's different. I think I think if you're a vampire and you want it to be like cr- a cruelty free vampire, I think <laughs> donated blood would be fine. It's a very interesting choice. Yeah. Also, a very important discussion very important discussion indeed well look i'm dead there's no way that can change that we're just <laughs> yeah, trying to pass there's one the person time. there's one person who is not cruelty free here and it is jameen kalf who mm. is absolutely not handing e- you your yeah. on a silver platter and look at that the the oh what a coward toffel or me also Ca- toffel conceding look at that do you know why the rampager is in the deck the green pelt rampager Little shy elephant. Yeah, they probably have a way to spend energy to like rebounce it every turn. Hmm, what could that be? That uses energy. Ether tide whale. No. No. <laughs> what what uses energy to make mana? Servant of the conduit. Hey! But you have to tap oh, that. Now yeah. Oh it untaps! Oh Amazing. Oh, with the paradox that. Oh my yeah, god, this, you're so amazing. smart. This is actually. You are actually really smart, Tuffle. Like without without actually this deck, honestly, is crazy. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. It is really cool. The, like, it's it's like an elf ball deck. Yeah. Just what? Sweeter. <laughs> it's sweet. But don't you know elf ball? Sweet ball. Sweet, sweet ball. ball. Yep. Channel sweet ball. It's like a uh, mixture between meatball and sweet stuff. It's a sweet ball. I should be like a, a, a dish naming professional. Yes, that's definitely a, a rich line of work for, that you could go into, I think. <laughs> it's like, do you want a steak uh, with some honey sauce or do you want a sweet ball? Steak and sweet balls. That does not sound very nice, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> yeah, sweet so balls. you're missing green mana here, Toffle. This, yeah. this is a tricky, tricky situation for you. I, I have to say the keep was kind of opportunistic, right? So, it seemed fine. You just need like one green mana and then you're off to the races. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the hand with the green mana would be very good. But then again, there's no green mana, so it was Well, bad. instead, d- d- did you mean thrashing Brontodon and with a double green card? <laughs> did Yamin kill you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So now, so now Toffel I'm looking at my deck. If I see list. I have something for one. But I don't. And if we don't have the sound from when Toffel was uh, was recording this, but if we did, it would be him raging, going, oh, "I can't believe it! I've got this many green swords. I didn't even draw one." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Little angry boy. I'm fairly lucky that Jamin doesn't really have any <laughs> stronger creature. Yeah, I really do. like. I would like for Toffel to play something so I can copy it, but I really don't apply a lot of. Pressure. And look at but that luckily, forest. I have oh, a six easy. mana six six in my command zone. Mm. Right on time here. So what are, what are you going to go for? The spring? Hope tender? Well, I guess I have to do something that's not involving a creature and gets me yeah. a forest guaranteed. So yeah, ramping I for like this. The spring. Also, this gives me an option to uh, Hour of Promise next turn. And get two, and get two zombies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. That's I think that's the play I would have made as well. Because the hope tender doesn't really do a huge amount. Yeah. But yeah, now, let's let's see how that uh, our promise thing goes. Yeah, uh, now we see something like this is the saddest thing I think I've felt in a long time. So you're just kind of priced into playing this hour of promise here. You're gonna get yeah. two deserts. So I'm looking at my deck, and do you remember when I cycled the desert earlier? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! How many are you playing? Three deserts? Yes. Oh, and, he, oh, and the taste. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure I put it in here somewhere. <laughs> Where could it be? Yeah, actually, oh, like two no. zombies would have been really good, right? Yeah, it would have board, like fog the board and stuff. But well, I mean, got an inventor's fair, yay! <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of fair. Yeah, it's inventor's not fair enough. Yep, yeah. inventor's unfair here. I know. Check is, this out. Oh my goodness! Oh, look oh. at him go. Oh. Sacrifice it, draw a card, play it again. Sacrifice it, draw a card. Oh, oh, you yeah, mean? You're, you're. It's, oh, it's a work of art. Yeah. It's a yeah. work of art. Also, the six six slamming across is is also, also very, a work of art. Yeah, it's pretty good. And at this point, I'm oh, there's the whale. Oh, do you know why the whale, whale is in the deck? Uh, <laughs> it because of its para- its uh, combo with paradox engine. Wow, you you're quick like. We talked about it on the podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea before that. You already explained it to me. 
Also, you notice Toffel is running low on time. Well, yes, I did. I saw that. Time is relative. Below five minutes. Yeah, so time is relative, but you're still running low on it. <laughs> Guys, I have some very bad news. Uh-oh. My girlfriend Megan has just stepped into the room and she's wearing my hoodie. So I'm never seeing that again. Well, I'd actually managed, I'd managed to keep them away from her, like safe, but she's used this moment of vulnerability where I can't get up and, and respond to it. I think I left it on the couch. Oh, that's tough. It's gone. So now, yeah, it's gone forever. It, it went into yeah. the realm of uh, clothes that gets stolen. It's not, well, it's just, it's just hoodies. Girlfriends just eat. I don't know if they, they eat them or they use them for sustenance. No, or whatever, no, they no. just they, they also take like your shorts. Really? Of course. Oh, I've dodged that. I've been lucky. I've just lost hoodies. <laughs> and your shirts, t-shirts. No, no, just just mainly hoodies. I think my, I think I think my I think Megan just survives mainly on hoodies. <laughs> she just curls up in the corner and eats them. Luckily, oh, she most sh- magic she shut have the door. She doesn't, lots want, of hoodies. she doesn't want to talk about this anymore. Um, yeah, no, it is. It's good. It's good. There's a you know a, a fresh supply of them as well because you know for the for the hunger of of girlfriends around the world, they can they can eat hoodies to their hearts' content. Oh, Ravi tubes for you as well, Jermaine. Yep, talking about contempt. Uh, I don't have Roska's Contempt this time, but I do have the the other 4-mana removal spell I play. And Toffel going down to 6. Down to 6, no fear. <sighs> I, I, uh... That sounds like a bit of fear. That sounds like resignation. Yeah. You didn't sound afraid. No, that's... What are you afraid of, Toffel? Um, flying? Oh, really? Yeah, oh, mate. I don't like flying. You don't like flying. And you chose to be a professional magic player. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it, that's a great idea. I will walk to the Pro Tour. <laughs> well, I actually walked to a Pro Tour once. What? Yeah. Just like you walked out of this game. Oh, look at it. Hover <laughs> over. He knows he doesn't want to give up the uh, the, the game again. I mean, yeah. this means you're the back-to-back. Patrick well, I didn't concede yet. I'm trying to think of outs. With uh, your mouse <laughs> hovering over the concede game button. Well, it doesn't look good. So to say, there was a Pro Tour Berlin. Ah. Oh, I actually walked to two Pro Tours because there was also Worlds in Berlin. Nice. And now I find the uh, the line that wins the game. Look at it. Oh, thrashing Brontodon <laughs> to destroy the Argyle's blood <laughs> very, very good against uh, Muldrotha, right? Yeah, seems like it. What What are you doing, mate? But Tuffle not quite giving I up. wasn't dead. You- like... I wasn't dead dead. And there's Evolving Wilds. Of course, not even uh, that is... That's pretty sick. Yeah, Yeah, that's pretty lucky. (laughs) Also, me drawing a card first Uh, to see if maybe... (laughs) (laughs) Maybe there's something better I can draw than... Maybe uh, there's something better than than a a bonus hunger. That's that's ridiculous. This card's fantastic. This is a great example of one of the cards that we talked about as being uh, a terrific multiplayer card as well because it's each opponent. Yeah, the problem is you kind of draw attention to yourself with that card, but in 1v1, it turned out to be great. Well, it turned out to be great enough to once again, I mean, back-to-back, uh, the, the back-to-back feature match champion, and this must not feel good for you, uh, uh, Toffel. This, wow, what a beating, huh? <sighs> Jamin, you got anything to say to Toffel after, <laughs> after crushing him into the dirt here? Got anything nasty, any nasty barbs to chuck his way? No, I'm I'm really bad at that. I don't know. What? Get on my level? Yeah, no. I I would suggest winning more often so you have the opportunity to learn from it. You know. <laughs> you really? I mean, you're on some good stuff. You should have you should have uh, you you should have doubled down on that insult because that's pretty good. Get on my level. Get a step ladder and get on his level. Yeah, uh, topple. Like I'm I'm just trying to uh, get some empathy and losing. So I. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I let you win. Yeah, yeah. You've done the classic dad move to the little kid. You go, oh, yeah, well done. You really did really well. You, yeah, exactly. We saw it. How just how much he trounced you, Toffee. You didn't have a chance. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Although your deck is super sweet. It's very, very cool. And and we talked about this in the in the in the most recent episode as well about how important it is to have a way to win the game on the spot in a in a game of multiplayer commander. And yours, uh, uh, brawl. And yours, yours definitely does that. Thank you. It, it 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 is probably very fun in multiplayer because you have like you not don't die as quickly. I'd say because Jamin has to also concentrate on other people. Yeah. Yeah. So I can implying that it's only me killing anyone. Yeah, you're only the bad guy. Like, yeah, you're the only bad guy here, Jamie. Yeah, I think okay, that's okay. been well and truly established. Anyway, that's that for this feature match, my friends. Hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, want more of this silly nonsense, you're in luck. It's Stacking60s.net. It's our podcast. You should listen to it. It's. I was going to say it's very good. It's okay. No, it's very... Yeah, it's no, kind of okay-ish. What? What is this? 
No. That's fine. Listen to it. Yeah, it's very good. All right. Like, no. It's <laughs> it's very likely the best podcast you will ever have listened to. And to be fair, if not, we will give you back your 50 minutes you spend on it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and a full money back guarantee for yeah, the Yeah, you will get the every well. money back that you spend besides the patron money. Yeah, may- that's, maybe. That's already that's gone. That's already we've blown that. <laughs> yeah, all right. We spent that. Do you know how many hamburgers I've eaten? In do the you last do you know how much hours? Nexus effect cost for this video? <laughs> 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 oh dude, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you next time. Uh, take care.